Helios can be used as a user interface for creation of monitor setup files without actually running any profile. Okay, sometimes people want to just uh, export some viewports from DCS. Uh, for example, if you're using just uh, cougars on top of little monitors that uh, you need to put the, you know, the MFDs under, uh, uh, underneath the cougars, and you don't actually plan to um, export any controls or have Re Helios draw any buttons or knobs or anything like that. Um, but you'd also don't want to write the monitor setup file by hand, uh, which obviously one could. Then you can still use Helios as a user interface for making the monitor setup file. Um, this video is going to very quickly show how that would be done. So um, in this example, uh, you know, ignore the fact that my monitor setup here is uh, that's my programming machine. It doesn't; these screens obviously wouldn't be in these positions if you were doing DCS. Uh, but let's say monitor one and three, I want to put MFDs on, and uh, monitor two in the middle here is my main screen where uh, DCS runs. So we do have to create a profile because uh, Helios doesn't do anything without a profile. We don't plan to actually run that profile, um, but we're just going to use that profile as a place to configure everything and then have Helios uh, write out the monitor setup file. Okay, so first thing we need to do is um, add an interface and specifically the monitor setup interface and that adds to this profile the capability of writing monitor setup files that's basically what it means um, okay so here's the ui for that uh, it, the default here layout might look a little different on your machine it might look more like this um, depending on um, you know what you normally use uh, the uh, this mode of how your screens are mapped is shared across all your Helios profiles. So if you have any Helios profiles already, then it will probably look, you know, uh, not, not exactly like mine. Um, but so for this example, I'm going to say, okay, I, uh, here's my setup. I'm going to run DCS here in the middle, DCS menu in the middle also. I don't want to render all this dead space here. So I'm going to go horizontal only. So only DCS and whatever extends past it. And so the green thing here is now the resolution that I need to um, set in DCS options. And it also says um, that I haven't saved. So actually, well, usually if I was doing some real work, I would always start by tearing off the interface status from here and sticking it over there somewhere or on another monitor um, so I can keep an eye on it. So right now I can tell, you know, things that are still wrong as well. I haven't saved. Okay, I need to name this. Um, right so now I've named it viewports uh, so that's happy now and here uh, the problem is that I didn't actually generate a monitor setup and that's fine because I haven't put anything in it yet okay so this is the situation um, now we want to export two MFDs we're not going to actually use any of Helios's patches or use uh, different MFD locations for different aircraft or whatever we're just going to use the MFD viewports that come with DCS unmodified. And those are found here in this drawer uh, in the toolbox called simulator viewports. And in there you will find some that say unmodified and uh, or generic. So for here example, here's a generic aircraft left MFCD. And so that's just the normal DCS name for the left MFCDs view. Um, sorry, I was just holding down control and turning the mouse wheel to zoom out monitor one. I should have told you what controls I'm using. Okay, so we're going to take this left MFCD, throw it on the left screen here, uh, make it some sort of size. I'm going to type this in because I uh, don't want to size it by hand. I mean, obviously you could clearly do that. I'm just going to make it a thousand by a thousand, whatever. Uh, stick it on there. And then we're going to go over here double click on the number three to open monitor number three also control scroll wheel to um, zoom that out and I'm going to take the generic right MFCD also stick it there make it the same size now because my monitors are a weird um, geometry I can't just copy over the 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 you know the top coordinate here 
to make them aligned I would have to manually line these up obviously if I had actual little MFD monitors for my cougars and lining them up would be much easier you can also um, hold down shift and grab this corner to, to do resizing um, I prefer um, not to I prefer to to just you know type it in so I always get what I what I want it but that's preference okay so now um, we go back and monitor the setup you see the two rectangles we've added they're inside the green box so they will actually get rendered by DCS the only thing remaining is uh, well it says we haven't saved okay forgot to do that and we have to uh, configure here right it says we didn't actually write out a monitor setup and now we did okay so now we have a monitor setup file it would be called Helios and Helios is telling us okay so first of all, don't set different DPI on different monitors. That's a restriction. It's in the fact. You can look at the fact on the Helios wiki about that. Uh, secondly, it says, okay, in DCS, you need to set your resolution to 6200 by 1440. In this case, right, that is this green rectangle. And in DCS, you have to set the monitor setting to, in the system options, to Helios instead of whatever it says right now, one camera, two, two cameras, or whatever, whatever you have. Uh, selected as a monitor setup because the monitor setup file is called Helios and that's it and so at that point we would just uh, make those changes in DCS it'll just work TM and um, we don't actually run Helios control center we don't execute this profile ever we just used it to to um, to write the monitor setup below that's it